Interested in a career in medicine and ready to set out on the path? You want to help patients, but the cost and commitment to med school is turning you away from your true calling, helping others. There are so many amazing careers, but most of them are hidden behind the generic and popular few we already know. I graduated with a degree in biology, unsure kind of what to do, originally planning to go to medical or dental school. And that just you know, halfway through undergrad, decided I didn't want to do that. I was interested in medical imaging and radiology. Uh, went and did some research and shadowed and just kind of fell in love with it and enrolled in the program and here we are. Just like superheroes see through walls or track microscopic invaders, there are squads of specifically trained nuclear medicine professionals who use small doses of radioactive drugs and high level imaging equipment to augment the human eye. They can look through the body to diagnose and treat disease. Nuclear medicine technologists are recognized as integral partners within the medical healthcare team. I started in nuclear medicine probably 22 years ago and I fell in love with it because we were able to look at the physiology of what was going on in the body as opposed to just the anatomical details that you got from a CT or x-ray. So I fell in love with the physiology behind it. I chose nuclear medicine based on the diversity of what you could do in the career field. There are many opportunities as a staff person coming in at entry level from educator to management to research. The industry is so big and I thought that was the perfect opportunity to expand my career. My experience was a little different because I'm in the military at the time. So we have a career ladder. Started off as a staff technologist and then I moved up to managing the department. And then from there, I went on to becoming the program director of the nuclear medicine program. Careers in nuclear medicine are medicine's best kept secret. With numerous paths from physicians and technologists who help with patient diagnosis to pharmacists who prepare and test radiopharmaceuticals used in treatments or even physicists and engineers who get into the nitty gritty of nuclear science. There is something out there for everyone passionate about helping others. There is currently a huge demand for nuclear medicine technologists with other areas of the field following close behind. Some of the hardest parts are the fact that you're seeing sick people. You get relationships with people over time and in, in pet imaging, we oftentimes see what we call frequent flyers, so patients that are coming to us every couple of months to get evaluated. You develop relationships with these folks, you start to love them as your own, and so in many cases you get to see them heal and you get to see them go home with a smile, and at times uh, you lose your family members, you lose your patients, and that's always been a hard part for me. You have to be able to win and gain the trust of your patients, and in doing so, so you have to be willing to listen to their story, let them tell their story, and be available to them at all times. The career advancement is fantastic, but it really is about the patients. Being able to deliver personalized precision medicine to patients that they deserve and need is really what it's all about. It's just a really exciting time. We are advancing precision medicine um, quite rapidly, and to be able to see that firsthand is amazing take little bits and pieces away from people that are educating you and make them your own, dive in with just both feet and to learn and absorb as much as you can. Finding where to begin your career is one of the most important decisions in a person's life. But with seemingly endless options at every turn, it's common to get hit with career block. You don't want to get caught in the career trap. Get into a stable career with lots of room for growth. Find out more about how you can begin a career as a nuclear medicine technologist at snmmi.org.